Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. It is great to have you here as usual. So as you recall in the last episode, we had just, you know, finished taking out one of the last squares of the Grey Talons. Uh, I left a few squares for myself, which I went ahead and took out, so, you know, I didn't bother you guys with having to watch that. I think we're done with the Grey Talons for now. You know, I think we did pretty well. So with that being said, I went ahead and, and took them out. They actually had another 100-point square that was hidden. It was either here or here. I forget which one, but uh, that, that took me off guard a little bit. So, uh, I had also been encountering another problem where I wasn't able to save new ships I built. I don't know if you all remember that. Uh, apparently, there is a 100 ship limit cap in the game, and once you hit that cap, anything past 100 ships doesn't get saved. Uh, but all other progress does. Resources spent, battles won, that all gets saved. So it was a very strange issue, but once I figured that out, I spent most of today, Sunday, just pruning the uh, fleets. I found out we have about 35, so about 35 of our structures built are structures we need either for resource zones or for unlocking uh, fog of war or as a fortress and uh, the rest of our ships we have about uh, I don't know maybe 50 ships in our fleet right now after I pruned things up I, I took out about 15 ships so with that being said I have moved things around and I've gotten us ready to take on the twin guard and uh, we I've got most of our, our forces down here I thought we would take them on from two angles because this could be risky. They could uh, they could squeech past us right here and, and move down to our lower forces or our lower territories where we don't really have any forces. And we also have another grip of ships up here. So I brought in a new community ship. We're going to see it in action here. It is the Kyoko. It's hard to see the name right here. Uh, Kyoko Class Cruiser. This is the S edition of the blueprint, I believe. And along with this, it needed some AA. So I, I brought the Super Swallowtails over to provide AA coverage. Whoa! For the Kyoko class cruiser and uh, the fleet name for this is the child of the capital great fleet name by the author of the Kyoko uh, recommended it so I thought we would go with that really cool name and with that being said I I'm thinking let's just go ahead and kick this up let's declare war on the twin guard and uh, we're gonna start up here this is where I wanted to start because honestly I want to just try to go me 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 and just over here and just wreck the fortress so we can we can nip the fortress in the bud you know go ahead and, and keep it from jacking ships out is that the right phrase to use maybe not also you may notice I snuck a, a antenna array up here I, I fully imagine they may send forces to this one and we also have another antenna array here so these may end up blockading quite a few ships oh man okay let me move my phone it's over here like beeping and bopping and stuff one sec here Wunderbar I think we are ready apologies about that of course I guess the delay oh my god my phone it's it's still too close too close let me move it there we go it's even further now all right let's do this uh let's go ahead and start here let's go ahead and start bringing over all of our ships i still want to bring you know all of them over at once so we still get the blockade effect uh it's it's gonna make it manageable no i'm really excited for our first twin guard battle it's uh you know we haven't seen them since the last patch and they only had like two or three ships, I swear. It was just like so few ships. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to... Oh, apologies. We need to declare war on these bad guys. So, let's see. Great Talons. Yeah, 0% of their strength. 8% territory. Probably still hasn't calculated the last uh, the last win that we had there. What we want to do here is go to Diplomacy. We want to find the Twin Guard. Which one's the Twin Guard? Is this the Twin Guard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is them. Declare war. Let's insult them. Y'all so ugly. Jeez, super ugly. Yay! Okay, we're good. Let's do this. So they should immediately send a force out after us. Here we go. Strength 135, force count 7. It's got an eternal heading up the uh, the fleet there, the old flagship. So here we go. We're going to 10x this and wait for these slow pokes to get over there. So let's see who we're bringing here. We've got the long arm of the law. Just so you can see what sort of fleet makeup we have up here in this northern sector. We have the Eruption of Rapture group. Very good. We've got the uh, Hell's Navy. This has been a classic. These Holland Foyers have really been, you know, following with us. Keeping true. So, oh, I should note, yeah. This is just the Big Silver Sausages. Now, I got rid of the Pinkie Pie because, you know, we really hadn't used it in a while. And by scrapping it, we got just over, like, 1.5 million metal for scrapping it. It was crazy. Let's go ahead and move these other fleets up. We want to get them blockaded as much as possible. Well, I mean, honestly, we just want to get them blockaded. There is no as much as possible, I suppose. So we got just a little bit more here. Who's lagging in the back here? Ah, uh, yeah, it's the big sylph. 
Of course, you know what we need to do real quick? I mean, you don't, because uh, you can't read my mind, and if you could, that'd be so rad. That'd be awesome. We're just going to go ahead and rename them. It's no, I mean, there is no more Pinkie Pie in there. We're just going to call it the Silver Sausage Factory. That sounds good. Double SF, you know? Get that baby going. All right, let's get them up there, because the, the Big Silv and the Silver Sausage make up a good bit of force points. Let's get them over there. They're getting close. We travel at the speed of three. Wow. Is that the same speed that most uh, humans urinate at? I have no idea. It's just something I'm, I'm pondering right now. Kind of weird. But I'm imagining, like, I could pee faster than this. Anyway. <laughs> okay. That's a weird thought. Kind of immediately regret it. All right, we are all blockaded. So let's start this up. I'm really excited. I want to show you guys this really amazing cruiser. This cruiser, by the way, is huge. Oh, no, no, no. You cannot start 3,000 meters up. Hang on. Please, please tell me you're going to be able to, like, go back down. Oh, no, he's starting, like, 400 meters up. Oh, wait, is he? Are you going down some? No? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. This is, this is horrible. Um, oh, balls. Well, uh, golly, it's just going to get wrecked up here. Uh, well, let's just do it. You know what? There... <laughs> Living on the edge. Screw it. We're bringing it in. We're doing it. And we'll back him up with something. Maybe like the big sill. Look at this beast. Interface. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Look at this. Oh, what a sweet screenshot. This looks totally hilarious. Also, let's go ahead and make sure that our avatar is not in one of these, these other ships. So let's just go ahead and pop him out. There we go. Is he falling? Yeah, he's falling. All right. So let's look around here. Oh, there she blows. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. And these guys started in space. Oh, y'all. This is not good. And look, he's actually shooting through the bottom of his hole because of how, like, weird this is. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, my God. What a, what a goofy, goofy start for us. So they got to bring in 4.2 force points. Oh, this is neat. Look at these. Let's start getting a look at these. The Marksman Torso. Oh, so it's like, is this Marksman going to have a lot of parts? Are these like the Marksman's arms or something? The Shadow Cat Torso. Cool. We're going to go back and look at the cruiser here in just a second. Okay, we've seen the Eternal. She, she's a tried and true classic, you know? I think that was there in the previous version. The Begetter. Begetter, maybe. All right, well, let's take a look. I'm really worried. Our uh, cruiser is going to be probably taking a lot of damage. Because it has no shields on the bottom. This is why I didn't want to bring it in. Oh, no. But this thing is a beast. It is uh, 11,000 blocks. It costs about 1.1 million metal. 3.5 million RP. And we are taking some, some good hits. Thankfully, uh, yeah, all right. Well, let's go ahead and bring in some more ships here. Let's bring in both silver sausages. Oh, we can only bring in one. So let's see. I think this is the one that I modified to have uh, both pulse laser and continuous. Yeah, so you can see it when it highlights that green. It's got the pulse. It's got the continuous. Uh, we got the cruiser falling out of the sky here. It's going to be doing a sweet... It's popping a sweet cruiser wheelie. Don't know if you've ever seen those before, but... Uh, I would really like for it to get a little bit lower. You know, get down and stuff. So we've got the big silver sausage. This is probably going to be what is doing some damage here, maybe? If we can, this is interesting. You know, it's been a while since we fought all sea-based ships. Sadly, these guys are not... The Super Swallowtails, I spawned them in horribly. So let's go ahead and bring in... Uh, let's bring in a Sky Delight. Why not? And when we can, we will try to despawn the... Where are they? The Super Swallowtails. 50 seconds. I didn't honestly realize that we're going to start in space. That is crazy. I did not think that through. And our sweet cruiser came with, man. It was, it started way up there. But its descent from insanity is just about complete. Here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. What a grand entry. That's just how we like to roll here in the uh, Scrotorium, you know. Keep things real classy. All right, Big Silv, you're going to be taking a solid grip of damage, my friend. Let's see how we're doing here. We got the Binox out. The Eternal is doing what he does best. Like, a serious grip of healing. Oh, no. So let's take a look here. Interface back on. I still haven't taken my pants off yet. So they still have what looks to be three ships to bring in. All right. Interface back off. Pants not off. 
There we go. A lot of missiles coming out of the Shadow Cat Torso, I believe this was. These are going to be tough to remember. Oh, look at the Eternal. The Eternal just got decimated. What could have done? Oh, look what happened to this poor guy. He's upside down. Oh, well, that's adorable, I think. Or is just the top half gone? Oh, yeah, never mind. I think the top half is just gone. <laughs> look at that. So we got missiles coming from the X-10 Sky Delight, which is great. He's over there doing his thing, being a, just a true Sky Delight. But now the good thing is this, though. We've got the Kyoko just going to town with its uh, big cannons here. Ooh, very nice. Are, are these going to hit? This feel, It feels like it's shooting really far. Let's get the interface back on. I want to see where the enemies are. we got a bunch. There's us up there. Still got three enemies over here. I, I do feel kind of sorry for this guy. He's like, hey, guys. Hey, you guys. Is there anybody out there? Hmm. Kind of got left, left all by my lonesome. Oh, look at these little guys. What are these? Shark Tooth, what a cool design. Oh, he's taking a dip. Let's check this one out. So these shark, these shark teeth or whatever, they've got like four missiles on them or something. I don't know. You can see a bunch of the ammo coming from the Kyoko, which is absolutely fantastic. All right, let's go do another look on the cruiser. I keep wanting to uh, take a look, and then I get distracted, and I'm like, I'll oh, see ya. Interface off? Great, great. Look at all the smoke on this beast. Oh, I just eat this up. It, we have taken a little bit of damage here. Big Silver Sausage is down to 93%. The Kyoko is down to 98 uh, We do have both sets of turrets firing, though. My goodness. We got these sweet little side turrets. Look at this back one. Look at that beast. We need this boy. We need this bad boy to uh, broadside. Something fierce. We could use a, a nice, nice broadside going on there. So we're definitely taking some stuff out here. It's these are smaller targets, and we've brought in some big ships. Let's see if the ammo from the Kyoko is gonna land. I think this is the marksman. Yeah, this is the marksman. Let's see here. How you doing, Kyoko? You shooting? We're gonna follow these bullets. See where they land. Oh, he's done. Yeah, okay, he's done. Who else do we got? We still got this guy way over here. You can see the laser, both lasers from the Big Sylve, just not quite able to reach this guy. So what is this? Oh, that's right, it's the Begator, or Begetter, Begator. I think it's the Begator. Oh, he's shooting. Ladies and gents, he's getting some shots off. Doesn't that cruiser look so cool in the background? Oh, I just eat stuff up like that. That is so cool. So, so far, we've seen pretty much all new ships, with the exception of the Eternal. When I believe the, the sole purpose of the Eternal is some sort of, like, support heal craft. I believe. I could be wrong. Let's take a look at our force points. So, uh, they get 3.6. So, more than likely, until we take these last two out, uh, that one is out. So, this guy is going to be the, uh, the one to get. I don't know if we're going to be able to come over here. Well, we do have the X-10. And let's see if we can pull these back out of play now. The Swallowtails. Yeah, here we go. We sp I spawned them way too high. That was that was totally my bad. Look at the missiles. Just traveling over the mountain. What? <laughs> that is... <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, solid volley from the X-10. I see the, the Kyoko is trying to get a good shot over here. Look at the ammo coming over. We're going to watch it, see if it hits. We're going to get this view right here. Look at this. Boom. Oh, right in the grundle. Right in the grundle. Here comes some more. Going to be landing, landing, and... Wow, good accuracy on the Kyoko. Goodness. Oh, look at the big Sylve. <laughs> He's... We're going down. Oh, big Sylve down. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's let's see if we get something a little bit bigger coming in. The big Sylve just de-ballooned. Oh, no. Ooh, what is this? Okay, uh, we're going to have to just get up closer. He's a, a beached whale. Oh, cool design. Way cool. He's already dying, uh, probably because he's on the land. Desolation. Beached whale. <laughs> That's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a beached whale. It's definitely not a desolation. Look at the front of this. Very cool. It's got uh, missile launchers on the front. Are they, like, angled? Oh, they're on turrets. Way cool. 
Here goes a solid volley from the X-10. You know what we could do? The X-10 seem to be doing pretty well in this one. Actually, oh, y'all, we're going to bring the Sharks in. I'll, sh I'll shoot balls. There it is. All right, let's give the Shark a chance. Let's see how he does. We also, we totally got to try the Super Condors out. Do we have them over here? They may be with the other group. Uh, now that we're fighting some more, you know, non-air-based craft, I think those Super Condors will finally have a chance to see them shine. I, we didn't do them justice. So look at the shark. Such a cool-looking ship. Can we bring another one in? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. It's got a little bit of healing to do, but, um, you know, let's see what happens. So cool. Uh, good shot, bro. What were you... Don't you do it, you flip. No. No, God, no. Oh. <laughs> did, he, did he bounce off it? Look at the front. Shark down. Oh, he's still... Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, this mountain is like a one-grit sandpaper. It's just one huge rock. And look at him. Who were you shooting at, my friend? Do you still have AI? I mean, you're okay, but... Dude. All right, well, let's take a look at the other shark. Okay. He's doing shark things. So I believe we've almost taken out this... I uh, already forgot the name. Oh, let me look at it. Oh, darn. I think it's disintegrating. How quickly I forget the name. Ooh, okay, we got another ship here. Uh, we've seen this one. I think we have. Yeah, the lightning. Yes, the lightning. This is a cool ship. But you can see the big silv already biting into it. Look at that. Look at that. That continuous beam and that pulse. I don't really know how accurate the pulse is, though, to be honest. So it seems like, okay, we've got one of our sharks coming around for another pass. Oh my god. Uh, I did not think this guy had such a big payload. Alright, well, let's see if these, these missiles reach uh, their target. Which is obviously the shark. There's no way it's anything but this shark right now. Well, some of them. No? Okay. Oh, they're going for the Kyoko. I think the Kyoko is going to be a little bit too far. Yeah, it is. It is way too far. Okay, here comes the shark. One of the other ones. He's still way beat up. He is so beat up. So the lightning, how you doing? Ooh, a very, very nice uh, volley from the X-10 there. Right in the spot. That is in the zone, ladies and gentlemen. That is the G-spot of the lightning. It's feeling amazing. Oh, disintegrating. That was... Wow, I think we only have like one ship left. Do we? Do we not? Was did we? Was that it? Does this still count as something? Nope, that was it. Oh, look at that! First battle was not was not too tough. I'm kind of worried about some of these other squares though, like this 357. It makes sense that is one of their resource zones, which I didn't didn't really think about before. But here we are. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of movement here. So here's the deal. As I bring in new community ships, um, what I'm going to have to do is sort of ping pong along the uh, the fence of the 100 the 100 ship limit until 1.6 comes out. So right now we're sitting at 93 ships. So we'll be able to bring in. I don't know if that means. Yeah, it, it does. It doesn't mean unique ships. It just means like if you had one ship and you had 100 copies, you will have 100 ships. So. Uh, it just all of a sudden made me realize, like, having a self-replicating drone would be a horrible idea. You know, if you had, like, a hundred ships when you were done, you know, that'd be awful. So here we go. Uh, they are trying to take over one of our resource zones, actually, that I haven't built anything here with. You know what we can do really quick? Let's just do this. You know, we got a little bit of time. Let's bring the anemone down just a little bit. And a down we go, where the anemone... Going down to the ocean. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and bring in the anemone. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to spawn in a vehicle. We're going to bring in the... Somewhere, one minute. Up one, up one. We're going to bring in the sea suckling skipper. Sea skipping suckler. Load her up. Let's watch her spawn in. Let's bring, take off the interface here for this sweet spawning. And then we're going to go ahead and take over this resource zone. I mean, because we are right here. It's here. Let's go ahead and get somebody, you know, suckling and duckling. we got to get one up here as well. Uh, I can probably spawn another and send it up there. Or we could just spawn two. Maybe that's what we'll do. 
So here's one. What I'm going to do, usually this is my routine whenever I'm spawning in ships. First thing I'll do right off the bat is I will I will have them leave the fleet. Once it hits 100% here, I'll go ahead and release it. There it goes. Bombs away! And then we will immediately spawn in one more. And then we will click on that one and we'll have him leave that fleet. So now we've got two sea skipping sucklers. We'll see if this guy lands in the right... He should. The hydrofoil should... Should boost him in the right direction. Yeah, there we go. So while that other one builds, I'm going to pop into the uh, the old chair here. And we're just going to get this going. Just so we can get some speed, you know. Mm, the hydrofoils aren't really set in the right direction, I don't think. There we go. Uh, which button is it? I think it's K. There we are. Okay. So let's put on the brakes. And let me just hop on out of the seat here. And what we're going to do is send this first one. We'll send the first one up to this resource zone. So I found the easy way to make sure you are good when sending your ships to a resource zone is just zoom way in on the resource zone. You'll get close enough to where this is actually the ring for it. And I'll just come right in here. Uh, no. I want this to be like two meters off the ground or something. Yeah, whatever. We'll go ahead and pull them. Uh, oh, crap. Well, that also pulled the anemone we were, we were using to spawn in another ship, so... What the? Are we under the water right now? Oh, no, no. Okay. Wow, that really freaked me out. And uh, let's go ahead and get that other sea skipping suckler over. Where is he? Here he is. Spawn him in. Is he at 100% already? Oh, he is. Okay. All right. Well, we're good. So we're going to sit in this seat and let's get the hydrofoil set with Jay. We're going to floor it. Oh, Jesus. No. No, don't do a flip. Okay, I'll, I'll pull it out of play. Here we go. There we go. L little bit of power. Let's go, baby. Hit the water. It should propel back up the right direction. There we go. Love those hydrofoils. And then we'll get to suckling. So we'll send this one. There we go. You want to you wanna ship to be going near its max speed. That really helps set its out of play speed as well. Sometimes your out of play speed can be a little wonky. So here's this guy. We're going to go ahead and bring him down here. Just like that. Let me just reset this one as well, really quick. There we go. All right, so those two guys are going. So yeah, this will give us these resource, re resource. Yo, man, we got these resource zones. So this is exactly what I thought would happen. Right here. Um, these are going to be beacons for the enemy. They may never leave uh, to come after us, knowing that we have. Uh, antennas here and you know what the cool thing is is there's nothing I can do with these antennas oh I need to destroy this vehicle actually um, yeah they're just gonna be we're honestly we're gonna have some massive massive force buildups over there and we've already got somebody coming at us from over here it's already happening ladies and gentlemen so with that being said I think this is let's see if we're already suckling wait a sec why you no suckle? Hang on. Why? Alright, well, let's get down there. We gotta take a look at this one. That's weird. We're in the resource zone, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Alright, there go the sucklers. Okay, they're suckling. Maybe I just have to go there once to get that stuff going. Let's see. 10 exit. We should see the squares shrink. Oh, well, okay. It says we're getting them, but the icons never change size. It's got to be like a bug. Because, yeah, on these other ones, yeah, yeah it's, it's working fine. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I think this was a good first episode against the Grey Talons. Uh, the Twin Guard. Holy smokes, I almost called them something else that one of you said I may call them, and I'm so not going to call them that. You know who you are. You know who you are, my friend. Uh, so yes, I think this was a good first first battle against them. We got a little taste of the Twin Guard. And now we're, we're going to be jumping in hot and heavy. So starting in the next episode, um, I will... Actually, we may uh, bring in a new community ship and start it off over here. And we'll try to like hammer out some of this stuff. And uh, we're just going to keep progress progressing, hopefully up to this fortress. Th the whole point of this fleet is we're just going to boop, boop, boom, take out the fortress. So we can at least stop the spawns from happening from here on. Because, I mean, honestly, look, we already got so much to deal with. They have... They have thousands of force points built up. 
and we may, you know, we may be lucky to have like a thousand force points built up total. I don't know. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by. It's been great having you here as usual. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, hope you all just have an absolutely great day. Take it easy and stay classy.